Hello everybody, my name is Melvin Ram. I am the founder of Web Design Company. Today we're going to be talking about how to back up your entire WordPress website regularly and automatically using this brand new plugin that we've created called Automatic WordPress Backup. So um, it, for this video, for the demo, we're going to be actually uh, setting it up so that it backs up this temporary website that we've created at uh, customerloyalty.org. And so the first thing you're going to need to do is go and log in. And I'm just going to go log in. And once you log in, under the plugin section, click on Add New. And once you do that, you want to search for Automatic WordPress Backup. The first result that will come up is this one right here. And uh, the author you'll see will be called Dan Coulter and you hit install hit install now and the way we've got our web host set up it doesn't require any additional information it'll actually just uh, upload it and set everything up now for some hosts it might actually be easier if I'm gonna go back to this page and click install it might actually be easier to click on this right here wordpress.org plugin page and then download a physical copy to your server or, or to your computer and then you click on add new and then you click on upload and that way you, you can actually upload the zip file directly to your server so uh, I'm gonna go we've, since we've already got it installed I'm gonna just go activate it and we're gonna click on the settings to set up the Amazon S3 um, account. I'm going to come to the website and I'm going to click on sign up for Amazon S3 right here and I am going to log in with my I've got a Amazon account already set up and if you don't you can just sign up for a new one and once you set up your account you're just going to click on complete sign up and I had already set up my payment system for my Amazon S3 account so you won't actually uh, you'll probably need to put in your credit card information uh, I didn't need to because uh, I already did that process so now once you've got your Amazon S3 account set up you're gonna just go to your account security credentials G uh, take the access key right here I'm gonna put it into here and then click on show the secret key and we're gonna copy that into the secret key section so I hit save changes and uh, we're going to create the bucket for this so I'm going to just call it customerloyalty.org forward slash or dash backup that way uh, it won't conflict with the other buckets that other people on uh, other Amazon S3 accounts have set up and I'm going to go ahead and just select all of the options and I'm going to set the uh, daily one or the backup schedule to backup daily this means that every single day it'll save an entire copy of all the information pertaining to my WordPress website on the Amazon S3 servers I'm gonna hit save changes and that's all we need to do now I can actually trigger a manual backup by clicking on save changes and backup now so I'm gonna do that right now alright so you'll notice that the back it says that the backup has started um, and if it hasn't shown yet it will show uh, the actual backup right over here the next time you load it once it finishes uh, doing the backup so I'm gonna hit refresh oh, there it is now one critical thing to note is that the plugin requires that you have um, the uploads folder be writable so what am I talking about I am talking about if you go into your website files uh, in the uh, wp-content folder there should be a folder called uploads and this should be it should have the permissions of I think it's 776 but one of the easiest ways to actually get that to happen is to just go to your media section and go add new and go select and just upload a picture so I'm going to just upload a random picture and it, it will actually create this folder 
and uh, I think it actually sets it up with the right uh, right permissions as well. And uh, if not, then you'll just need to manually create a folder called uploads and give it the right permissions. It needs to be writable uh, from the server. So anyway, that's that. And uh, all right, now that's it. We've got our WordPress installation fully set up. We've got uh, we've got the uh, backup plugin set up. We've got the S3 account set up, and we've linked the backup plugin with your S3 link, and we've set it up so that it automatically will backup daily. And uh, that's it. I hope you'll never have to use the actual backup files, but if you do, you've got them. You've got the backup files, and uh, yep. Yeah, Merry Christmas and have a happy New Year's. Take care.